My name is Evan. We're uh, going to be making the Chicago deep dish double decker basic pizza. We're going to make it right now. Happy New Year. It's uh, the 31st of December. This is my, my lovely assistant, Kia, and my wife. And here we go. So we have uh, this is going to be the bottom layer. We got the uh, said it was going to be a double decker, so this is the second layer. This is basic dough. You can get a you can get a recipe online anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this one down. I can give you the recipe if you want. Just uh, respond to the to the posting. Send me an email, and uh, I can give you the recipe to my dough recipe if you want. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to spread out the dough. Make sure it gets separated. The pan I'm using is just a regular uh, T fall pan. I uh, sprayed it with non stick spray. Um, you use olive oil, any other type of cooking oil that you use to make sure it doesn't stick. So once I get that spread out nicely, a little bit of sauce. Uh, the type of sauce I like to use is just regular diced tomatoes. Um, they came seasoned at the store. They were the Ital Italian style. Threw a couple cans with a can of uh, regular tomato sauce. I'm gonna spread this out nicely. You don't want to put too much down because there's so many different layers. It's almost like making lasagna. I'm gonna put nice thin layers of everything just so a bunch of different type of flavors in there. So we got the mozzarella. This is just plain mozzarella cheese. Make sure you don't get the diet mozzarella because that tastes like crap. I'm going to make sure you got regular good old mozzarella cheese. Nice and fattening. I put a little bit of oregano on there. It's actually Italian seasoning but I call it oregano. A little bit of garlic. It's actually a lot of garlic, but this seasons helps season the sauce, helps season the cheese, and the remainder of the pizza. So we have that. Before I put the other layer of dough, I'm going to put the layer of sausage. And this is just regular old Italian sauces that you get to get at the store in the links. What I did, I cut them out of the links, spread them out, I turn it into one big layer just like Lou Malnati. See that? It's a big layer of Italian sausage. That's going to be good. So we got the other layer here. A friend of mine gave this to me, Justin Wolf. I'm making this video just for him. Thanks Justin and Mary. So this is the other layer. I'm going to spread this out a little bit. So this is just the other layer of dough. Same dough. Nothing different. Just cut evenly. Make sure we spread that out. It's kind of like the Bill's Pizza Double Decker in a way. Pretty similar except for a couple different changes. What I want to do here is I'm just going to make a couple holes because when this cooks it's going to get really steamy inside. We want to make sure that the steam goes all over the place. So I just make all kinds of different holes. Nothing special. Kind of like a pie. From there we're going to add more sauce. Again this is just diced tomatoes with a can of tomato sauce just to help thicken it up a little bit. You can season them. Normal seasoning I use is just black pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic. These came pretty seasoned. I tasted them. They tasted good. I don't want to put too much. Just enough. Spread that out. Make sure it gets spread out evenly. From there, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese, not so much because we get we still got a 
bunch of layers left. So I'll just put a little cheese there. A little bit more garlic. Not so much because we can put some on the top. We got another layer of sausage coming up here. And this is just the regular old Italian sausage you can get in the links at the store. We like the, the hot one because it comes a little, little extra spicy. Helps the, helps the pizza get seasoned. It's really not that hot when you eat it. You can get the mild if you want. This is just our preference. So from there, we can add vegetables. We just have green peppers and onions and garlic. You can do uh, mushrooms, spinach, do whatever you want. I want to make sure that they're not too big either and not too many of them because there's so many other things to cook in there so make sure it cooks good. And then I will do the onions. Like a little extra garlic, it's like emerald, bam. Just put a little extra sauce on top. We have sauce with three different layers here. You want to make sure that when you start off, you don't want to put too much sauce because you know you're going to be putting more sauce on top in each, each and every layer. Put a little bit of sauce there. And then we got the Canadian bacon. Thanks to Gia. So this is definitely a, a meat lover's pizza. So we got sausage, we got Canadian bacon. You can actually add pepperoni if you like. We got a nice layer of Canadian bacon there. We're gonna add a little bit of a little bit more cheese just to top that off. Just the perfect amount of cheese left in here. Let me move it all. Spread that out. Before we're all done here, we have the sides all messed up there. They're not really messed up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a little of the excess off. You don't want too much of it. But what I'm going to do after I cut this is I'm going to roll it up Bill's Pup style. Like that. Watch closely. What I do is I just kind of roll it up. If you do like Pizza Hut, you can throw like cheese in there and they have the cheese filled crust. But we got enough cheese on this pizza. We don't need any extra cheese. Just keep going around and around. Okay, tie that last little bit in. Before I wrap it all up, I just kind of tighten down all the edges because what happens is when you cook this all this is going to rise and you'll have a nice uniform edge to your pizza and funny thing is the center will kind of sink down because you have so much cheese wrapped up in there in the sauce all that will get kind of compact so we have a nice pizza there looks a little full on top but like I said it will it'll lower down the sides will get higher throw a little oregano down. So this is the second pizza we made. I want to show the first pizza we made real fast. So we have two deep dishes here. We have one with sausage and Canadian bacon and then we have one with pepperoni and sausage. Both look identical. They're both deep dishes. 
and we have the double decker style thanks to the built pup before we go we'll just say happy new year one more time and my wife happy new year